Alright, so obviously the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, scroll down to pricing where we can choose a plan. Uh, there is free gold, diamond and emerald. I personally recommend diamond because it has all the features that you need. And unless, you know, you own like a really big server or whatever, you probably don't need, you know, 75 backups and whatnot. And you can also go up to here and uh, select yearly. There are some pretty, pretty crazy discounts if you buy yearly. But for this, uh, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to be buying monthly because you know again i'm just testing it so we can just hit subscribe now now it's going to redirect us to the uh register page on which i will just type in a username and password and fill out the capture of course Dude, these things are getting fucking ridiculous i swear um and after you're done here you could just go ahead and hit register all right, so as you can see, we've been uh, redirected to the dashboard with a little pop-up here where we can select our payment method. So uh, I'll be choosing Litecoin because there's low fees and stuff. Uh, and we just hit continue here. I'll need an email. Uh, and of course, I don't encourage you to do this, but for this test, I will just be using a temporary one because, you know, why not, right? Uh, first and last name, decent nuts, of course. Uh, and as you can see, we've gotten an email from Celix here uh, with a code that we can enter. So if I just fucking Christ, all right, whatever that works. All right, so I'll just type in the code 9490329 and hit start subscription. All right, so now we get a prompt uh, asking us to pay. I'll go ahead and do this real quick and uh, I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, so now that we've uh, paid for the subscription plan here, the next uh, step is to connect our Discord account, which we can do simply by clicking on this button right here, which will take us to this page uh, right here, where we basically authorize the uh, bots on our account. So we just hit authorize on that. And as you can see, we don't have any backed up servers, uh, but we can add one by doing this. Um, and as you know, you might be able to tell, uh, we're going to use test server for video as the uh, test server for this video. To add the uh, the bot to your server, you, could, you just uh, click on this right here, which will take you to a page where you can, you know, this time then uh, add the server. So just hit authorize on that as well and fill out the capture. All right, so uh, so now we've got like an actual server here. We've got like some configuration. We'll get to this later, but for now, let's uh, take take a look at the configuration. So uh, most importantly, I would say, uh, is the verified role here, which is the role that is going to be given to uh, those who verify themselves in your server. Uh, in my case, that is the uh, verified role right here. Uh, so I'm just going to click on that. There is also the moderator role right here, which basically like those with this role uh, are allowed to use like way more of the commands in the server, right? Like they're allowed to uh, create backups and stuff. And you know, in my case, I'm just gonna set that to the mods role right here. And now here's the uh, lock channel. This is the channel where things like, uh, like people failing verification or just verifying uh, is gonna be locked out. I definitely recommend you uh, turn this on as uh, it will help you, you know, solve any issues that may arise. So uh, in my case, I'm going to set that to some other channel. Uh, and then moving on, we have verification security, which is more or less just like, you know, do you want to show uh, the user a captcha when they verify or when they want to verify? In my case, I'm going to uh, leave it on, but you might want to turn it off uh, if you don't want that. Now, next up is this uh, bot detection thing right here, which is the sort of, uh, well, basically, the bot uh, creates a trust score from the person who's trying to verify a uh, Discord account. And basically, like, you know, if your score is too low, then it doesn't let you through and blah, 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 blah. It's to detect bots, basically. Uh, and other, like, malicious actors, I suppose. So, uh, by default, it's set to none, but you can go down here and set it to uh, normal or strict. Typically, you won't need to set it to strict. Normal will do fine for most cases. So, that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, and then, finally, there is the verification URL right here which you know you'll have access to if you uh, if you have uh, diamond or emerald uh, and you know more or less it's just like a custom sorts of verification URL like like discord has for their uh, for their invites whereas normally it will just be like you know the ID of your server here instead uh, so in my case I'm just gonna set this to tutorial um, 
you know, just for testing purposes. And uh, yeah, when we click save, it says that your know, things have been saved and we're good to go. All right, so up next is uh, backups. Uh, so as you may have noticed, I have this fancy automatic backup thing here, which is uh, again something that is available for for for, for diamond and uh, emerald users. Uh, but it's basically just a backup that you know always updates uh, when there is a change made in your server. So it makes it like a lot easier to uh, to restore it. Uh, you know if it gets terminated or whatever. Uh, but either way, uh, to create a backup, you you can just go up here. It says new backup. We click on that, and it uh, asks us if we want to add. A comment this is very helpful uh, you know if, if you like want to uh, navigate through your backups like pick one that you know you want to back up to uh, so like I, I guess the way you want to do this is if you make some sort of change then you know you would like write that in here uh, like as the placeholder he says like fixed everyone being able to add everyone I don't really have like a change here but I do want to add a comment so I'm just gonna do like test comment just just to show how it works uh, and now we just hit create a backup and it's done now, when you hover over the uh, backup here, you can see that there's a few options. Uh, the first one, which is selected by default, is for rolling it back to uh, to this backup, like your server, rolling it back to the backup, which you would use if you like make some sort of change or if you get, you know, nuked or whatever. Uh, so basically, like, you know, if you want to roll back to an earlier backup, on the same server, this is what you'd use, right? And I'll show you how to do that in a sec. Uh, there's also this trash can icon right here, which is for deleting the backup. I'm not gonna do that right now, but you know, you can do that if you wish. So now I'm gonna go uh, into the server and I'm just gonna quote unquote break a few things, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the name of this channel. Uh, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna just mess up the uh, permissions for this role. Again, you know, just to show off how things work. So now we go back here, uh, we click on this test uh, backup right here, and it uh, asks us if we're sure that we want to roll back to this backup, which in my case I definitely am. So we just click on that and we wait for a bit. And as you can see, it uh, successfully rolled back the server. So now if we go back here, you can see that the uh, channel name has been reset. Uh, and if we go in here, the permissions have also been fixed. So, you know, this is basically just what it does, right? It reverts your server to uh, an earlier backup. Now, uh, the next thing I'd like to show you is how uh, you can like basically do verification in your server. Uh, so if we start off by just doing the slash verify command here, which will give us this, uh, it'll, it'll basically give us our verification URL, right? It's basically the same as we had in here. Uh, and now this you would uh, put in some sort of like, you know, verify here channel or whatever. Uh, this is basically the link that people are going to be going to, to, uh, you know, to, to verify in your server. Uh, but in my case, I don't really care about any of that. I'm just going to click on it and we're going to like try to, uh, you know, verify. So of course it says that, you know, bot detection has been enabled for the server and all that sort of stuff, which, you know, is because we enabled it over here. Okay, so uh, to verify in the server, you can just hit connect here, uh, which will, you know, once again, ask you to uh, to authorize the bot to your account. So we just do that real quick. And uh, yeah, it shows us a capture. Now, uh, had you set this to none, it would just, you know, verify you straight away. But of course, you know, this sort of like adds a, another layer of protection. All right, and uh, we've been verified. So uh, you may have heard that ping in there. Uh, I'll get to this in, in just a minute. Uh, but yeah, we've gotten the uh, the verified role here, uh, which means that we've been verified in the server. Uh, so if you go to this channel, which, you know, we used as our lock channel, you can see that uh, it says that, you know, the uh, that we verified, right? And our trust score was 1.00, and we don't have any bans on record, which is just fantastic, right? So uh, next up, I would like to uh, show you how uh, these sorts of like server restoration process works. So like, you know, if your server gets removed for whatever reason, like if you get terminated and whatnot, this is how things, you know, are sort of gonna go. Uh, but in my case, I'm just going to delete the server myself. And there we go, the server has been deleted. Now, uh, if we go back in here and we refresh the page, uh, you'll see that it blocks us out, but that's because we've just uh, verified. Uh, which, you know, sort of screws around with things. You won't really need to worry about this normally, but I am just going to log in again. All right, and now, uh, as you can see, it says that the uh, server has been deleted. 
uh, and there's uh, there's the uh, backups that we've created here that we can basically uh, choose from to restore our server. Uh, so you can either pick the automatic backup or the test comments one uh, that I've created here. Like just, you know, whatever backup you've got basically. Uh, in my case, you know, using the automatic backup one is fine, but if you got nuked or whatever, then you might want to use another one, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but I'm just going to click on this one and hit a yes, restore my server. All right, so uh, now that it's done, it redirects us to a page where we can once again add the uh, bot back to the server. So we just hit authorize right there, do the capture and bada bing bada boom. We are back to normal. Uh, we can go over here and as you can see, the server has been uh, restored with roles and all that. And as you can see, all of the uh, roles still exist. And uh, yeah, that's more or less it. We could also do uh, the member stats command right here. Uh, where it says that we have one verified member and we can probably pull like one guy which makes sense because I'm the only one who's verified uh, and if you ever want to pull your members you can just use the slash members pull command uh, and as you can see you know it managed to pull me back to the server even though I was already there I guess but yeah, I, uh, I think this covers most of it. Uh, if you have any more questions, you can go to the website and go to support. There's, uh, there's an FAQ here on like, you know, restoring messages and all that. Uh, but that's about it. Like blue sleep, bitch. I'm buy my chicken like it's a two piece. You can have your bitch back to your groupie. She just.